Greater West Bloomfield's dedicated update show. Events, businesses, and people. Anything and anyone causing a ripple in the community. And now, let's dive in to the Splash Live. Good morning and welcome to the Splash Live. Dave Scott here on Civic Center TV for your 90 minutes of live local television that we kick off your day with every day here on Civic Center TV and across all of our other outlets. Awful good to have you with us today. Thank you very much for joining us. Of course, you can watch the Splash Live and the Megacast every day, 90 minutes of live programming for you. Yours truly here, then Tyler Keefe steps in. Easy to watch across all of our outlets, and that includes if you're a Comcast viewer in the Greater West Bloomfield area, Channel 15, Channel 99 over on AT&T, on the web at civiccentertv.com, where you'll not only be able to watch our programming all in live, full high definition, but you will also have the opportunity to see all of our archives and a lot of other really nice, helpful information. We hope you tune in there. We want to thank you for tuning in this morning on social media, on Facebook and on YouTube where we're streaming live today and of course we have our very own radio station here in West Bloomfield. Great to tune in when you're driving around the community 89.3 Lakes FM. So thank you very much for joining us here on the program today. We're going to check in with West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation. They are opening up a new senior center. We'll find out more about that. And the West Bloomfield Chamber has got a couple of announcements. Suzanne Levine checks in with us live this morning. So if you drive up and down Orchard Lake Road, maybe Maybe to Northwestern Highway from your, your residence, maybe you work in Metro Detroit and you're off Northwestern Highway or 696 every day to head into the city for work. You drive down Orchard Lake Road and you might have noticed on the right hand side as you're driving by uh, where, you know, the, the Caldy Chevrolet and where all of those other businesses are right before Northwestern Highway a lot of construction going on there. And that is indeed the case at 7020 Orchard Lake Road. That property was purchased by Hunter Pastor Homes and the Forbes Company, and they are reinventing the site. Uh, you can see that, uh, that we have this picture right here, that that's going to be a beautiful apartment complex when it all gets completed. But there's a whole lot more to the story than the 213 luxury apartments and 355 parking spaces that are there. It's going to be a five-story building, which will include 22,000 square feet of a pool terrace, which you saw there, private offices for residents who work remotely, community entertainment spaces, fitness facilities, and a whole lot more. You can see I was there yesterday with our Civic Center TV cameras and kind of was able to get right to the side of the site. You can see they got a lot of work to do, but they're making really good progress. And you might notice as you're making your way down Orchard Lake Road um, exactly what's going on over there. The story here is really interesting, though, and that there, this site um, had some environmental issues, and they were able to clean it up. There's an environmental uh, organization that I looked at their website today. PM Environmental worked with the development team to prepare and obtain approval of a Brownfield Plan and Act 381 work plan. As a result, the developer will receive reimbursement of the activities that present a challenge in this kind of an environment. Under Public Act 381, the township, county, and state approved a tax increment financing plan to reimburse up to $2.7 million in brownfield-related costs. It's, it's projects like this that take a property that would be impossible for a business to develop and make it happen. Um, that's how they did Bay Harbor. It's a different plan, but essentially that's how Bay Harbor up north happened, and that's how a lot of other projects have been happening. Um, and this is a great example right in West Bloomfield, right in our main corridor. Um, fantastic, beautiful housing development, and, and, and this is the way it's been getting done. Um, certainly, it would be really good to talk to the people in the planning department of West Bloomfield Township, and we'll do that at some point. Uh, just to learn more as we're watching the construction about how this all came to pass. If you missed all the municipal meetings that we air with all those details over the past several years. So I thought I would talk trash a little bit this morning. And why is that? Well, I was having lunch with a bunch of my friends from West Bloomfield Township yesterday. And uh, and I understand that right now, all of us here in West Bloomfield Township are, are paying our trash bills and West Bloomfield residents can save. So we have GFL here in West Bloomfield. And uh, the way it all works is you get, a, you get a bill from GFL for your trash collection. It's not part of your taxes, but there are a couple of ways to save. 
First of all, if you prepay for your trash removal for the year, you're going to save money. Also, if you are a senior, as they define it, then you are also going to save money. And I, I was so excited to look at this news. You only have to be 62 years old. Now, Jared, over in my control room, is cracking up right now. What do you mean only 62 years old? Heck, I'm 60. Well, I'm older than 62. So I could be saving money in my trash. Didn't uh, really even know that. There's also a recycling program uh, here in the area that gets you a free recycling cart if you want. And just one other note as we're talking trash here in West Bloomfield, hazardous waste day. Put that on your calendar. It's April 22nd and a great opportunity to head down to West Bloomfield Township Hall and uh, get rid of those things that you just can't put curbside. Only happens twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. So mark your calendar for hazardous waste day, April 22nd. So as I mentioned yesterday, I was having lunch with a bunch of folks from West Bloomfield Township. Chris Darcy was there and she works in Steve Kaplan's office, our township supervisor. Got a chance to chat with her and Chris told me yesterday about how this billing works. Okay, so GFL Environmental, that's the single hauler um, trash collection company that West Bloomfield hires. Um, they send out invoices each year in March, and we invoice once annually for the entire um, year. And um, invoices just recently went out, so we receive calls at Town Hall um, with, with many questions. And um, some of them are people wanting recycling carts that are offered for free. Um, some people are calling to inquire about the amount of their invoice. Um, some people think that it's part of their tax roll, which it is not in our community. And some people just have a question about their website and how to go on and how to make the payments and what amount do I pay, etc. So when you call Steve's office, likely you're going to talk to Chris. So I thought it'd be good for you to meet her on TV this morning. I, I went on to ask Chris um, and have her tell us a little bit about how it really works. Because you don't pay the township uh, for this service. You pay GFL. And uh, Chris told us a little bit more about how that works. They actually go to GFL's website, which is included on the invoice that they get mailed. Um, they visit the website. It's very self-explanatory. You just click on, you know, pay now and it, and it allows you to enter the dollar amount that they want to pay which if they want to get the full discounted amount the payments need to be received by April 8 um, I'm sorry April 15th 2023 and um, if they pay in full by April 15th then they get that discounted annual rate so they will enter you know either the 229 or the 244 or whatever it happens to be all right, and then there's the amazing recycling cart that is available. Uh, not what I showed you earlier in our in our uh, images here, but a recycling cart that is available absolutely free. Chris tells us how you can get a hold of that. Yeah, so the recycling cart, um, we have worked it into, West Bloomfield has worked it into our contract with them that the recycling carts are complimentary to our, to our residents. So all they have to do is give us a call and call Steve Kaplan at Town Hall at the phone number given on the invoice and they can receive a free recycling co cart complimentary and if they want to purchase a trash cart that's separate they have to do that additional you know they have to do that separately by calling gfl but the com the complimentary one is for recyclables all right so I, I figured we'd be talking trash today here for you very important information a lot of phone calls get to steve and chris and i just want to let you know the really cool people we were all having lunch yesterday um, you probably noticed we were at Chris Valley's in West Bloomfield. And, uh, you know, they're getting a lot of questions. So we thought we would share that information with you. And then if you do need more information, give them a call. They're wonderful. Uh, yeah, I call that office all the time. Half the time, just Steve just picks up the phone himself. The other half of the time, Chris does. And uh, they are going to be very, very helpful. So there you go. Information for West Bloomfield residents on garbage collection and recycling. So a uh, really nice place to get breakfast if you live in the Cass Lake area and all kinds of meals. Brody's on Cass. Maybe you've been there and you're familiar with that picture. So yesterday on Facebook, I saw this amazing drawing of that scene uh, done by Deborah Friedman. And I thought I would share that. Isn't that nice? Really, what a great sketch. Uh, that is her art of, and depiction of Brody's on Cass. Uh, from the sports department this morning, we have news. West Bloomfield High School is a new head football coach, and uh, I, I, I'm so happy to see that they continue to promote 
from within. Our new high school football coach in West Bloomfield, Zach Hilbers. And uh, there is Zach working with some of the young students. He is a great guy. We'll get him on the show here as soon as we have an opportunity, uh, maybe tomorrow or early next week. Um, West Bloomfield, of course, a great tradition. Um, Ron Bellamy did an amazing job building this program up took the team to the state championship, and then, they, you know, as other coaches come in, they continue to promote from within, and I really like that. So your new West Bloomfield High School football coach is that guy right there on TV, and we wish him congratulations, Zach Hilbers, and uh, we look forward to having many conversations with him. I saw him at the uh, girls' basketball finals over the weekend in Lansing, so he is very involved in our community, teaches in the school, and I know you're going to uh, wish him the very best of luck. Speaking of high school football, news came out just this week that the Lakers will be part of one of the biggest kickoff programs of the year, on one of the biggest football gatherings of the year at Wayne State University. It is the Zenith Prep Kickoff Classic at Wayne State. 18th year this has happened. Lakers have been featured in the last several years. They'll be there on the docket again this year. And that's a real nod to West Bloomfield and the program because uh, they only have the best teams at this uh, at this tournament. So um, the Lakers will be taking on Clinton Township, Chippewa Valley. And this is going to be at 7 o'clock. And we will be there. It's a couple of months away, of course, August 25th. I believe is a date, but uh, congratulations to the Lakers for being invited back in there again. And if you're a Laker fan, you're going to get to see some other teams that we really want to measure how they're going to be doing. Cash Tech will be part of that uh, that weekend event who knocked us out of the uh, tournament last year and one of our great rivals in our conference, Southfield A&T. Uh, congratulations, speaking of sports, to Orchard Lake St. Mary. They are off to the Michigan High School Athletic Association Boys Basketball Semifinals at the Breslin tomorrow. Of course, there's not a lot of activity at the Breslin other than high school basketball this weekend because your Michigan State Spartans, it's a big night. They're in New York. They're playing in Madison Square Garden tonight in the Sweet 16. Tom is a, what an amazing guy, great guy, great coach, and uh, has your Spartan basketball basketball team back. That one tips off at 6.30, and I imagine um, establishments all over West Bloomfield, Kego, Sylvan, and, uh, and our entire area are going to be packed with people that are Michigan State fans cheering on the Spartans. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a minute. Kelly Heyer joins us from West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation, and we're going to find out all about our new senior center and where that is, what's going on. Been a little bit of transition there. We'll have that update for you in just a moment as the Splash Live continues right here on Civic Center TV. We'll be right back with the Splash Live. What's happening around you? Hear about state events, businesses, and from the people behind them on The Megacast, an hour-long TV, radio, and streaming show keeping you informed on the day-to-day -day news. Listen in on talks with volunteer groups, documentarians, and financial advisors Monday to Friday with your host, Tyler Keeft. Catch The Megacast weekdays from 10 a.m. to 11 on Civic Center TV, 89.3 Lakes FM, and streaming on MyMyTV.com. Like what you see? Beautiful works of art, masterworks of metal, and accomplishments of artistry will be on display near you. All kinds of artists from all walks of life come together to celebrate their skill and appreciate their work's beauty. Hot Works presents the 2023 Orchard Lake Fine Art Show. Stop by July 29th and 30th between 2 and 10 p.m. between Powers and Daily off of Orchard Lake Road. And now, back to the Splash Live. Good morning. Welcome back to the Splash Live. Dave Scott here in our Civic Center studios. Thank you for joining us for 90 minutes of live local programming every day right here on your local television channel and local radio station. Um, we're pretty proud of what we do. We're also very proud of West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation. We have one of the best departments in the entire state of Michigan. It brings me great pleasure to welcome Kelly Heyer from West Bloomfield Parks. This morning, Kelly, welcome to the Splash Live. Good morning, Dave. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Good to have you with us. And, you know, just great news today in that uh, your senior programs are going to be supported uh, by a senior center. And you've had to move it around a little bit. Tell us the latest. 
Yes, we've secured a new location. So if you are a West Bloomfield resident, you'll know that we opened our first senior center in 2020 in a temporary location, and we were unable to secure a, uh, another term of a lease there. So we had to seek out another option. And so we have landed at Simsbury Plaza at 14 in Farmington Roads uh, at the south end of West Bloomfield. And we're really uh, thrilled to announce the location we'll be opening this fall. Now we probably will have, or I'm pretty sure we're aiming for an August grand opening and ribbon cutting. So if you are a Connect member or thinking about joining, you'll be the first to know. Um, but we'll also keep everyone updated through local news sources such as the Splash. So talk about the senior programs that you have here in West Bloomfield. Uh, you know, it's one of the key things that you do, giving our seniors the activities and, and things that they enjoy so much. That's right. And if you think about life and, and the hustle and bustle after you're perhaps done with school and if you have a family or, uh, and work, you're tied up in that, but once you retire, or maybe you're at the end of your career, you're looking for social activities and different ways to meet people. And so the Senior Center is the answer. We have daytime activities, some evening activities, some are easy drop-in, uh, non-committal, um, but some you sign up for a six-week or eight-week class. So um, part of our Connect offerings includes our drop-in stretch and tone program, and that is an exercise program for 50 and over. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's free. And right now, we're limited on our capacity, so we can't wait to be in the new space where truly we can be have, take unlimited um, enrollment there. And another popular program is our ping pong program. We <laughs> offer that two or three days a week. We have open game rooms, so if you're looking to play uh, Maj or Pinnacle, Bridge, Euchre, you name it, um, that's the place to be. But really, Dave, it is a place for people to get up in the morning, come to, have a cup of coffee, see friends, have conversation, and be engaged in the West Bloomfield community. So it is going to be the destination, and, and we have had to have temporary uh, locations in the last um, nine to 10 months. So it's gonna feel really good to be back in, in one location. Well, and, and you provide a great service, especially for those people that are not in some kind of a, a facility where there are other seniors right there on site. A lot of people are, right. are, are living in their home for, you know, or getting healthier and healthier for extended uh, years or living with family. And then it's like, well, what am I going to do today? Well, let's get together with my friends in That's West right. Bloomfield. It's a great service you provide. It really is. Thanks. Yeah, and this is part of our big picture. So ultimately, we do hope to expand the Recreation Activity Center right here on the Civic Center campus. And we do have a, um, a lot of research and steps in the works right now to do that. But we needed a space immediately to house these programs, to house staff, and also some storage um, solutions for us. So we're really, really excited to be in this space. And of course, we're now um, thinking and planning and a lot of resources are going into how are we getting this up and live uh, but we've done it before, so it'll, <laughs> right. be, it'll be a little easier this time. Where do seniors go? Do they go online? Do they go to the website? Where do they go to find out how they can participate in these sure. programs? That's a great question. So that can be either online at wbparks.org and drop down to recreation, and then you'll see the link to 50 plus. You can stop by the Recreation Activity Center and pick up a guide. We have both our Senior Happenings newsletter as well as our activity guide that lays it out out there. Or if you just want to pick up the phone, you can call us at 248-451-1900. And that connects you to our front desk. And they're a great resource. They'll get you either a hard copy in the mail or I'll be able to direct you better on the website if you need it. All right, All right Kelly, thank you very much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Thank you very All much right. for being with us right here on The Splash Live. Bye-bye. Good morning, everybody. Have a good morning. Thank you. So we're going to take a break. We'll be back in a moment. Um, this is The Splash Live. I'm Dave Scott. Back after this. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. Watch Civic Center TV with our brand new live captions. 
To turn on live captions, go to civiccentertv.com and click Watch Live. In your web browser, click on the Options tab in the top right and find the Accessibilities tab. Then just switch on live captions to heighten your enjoyment of our local programming. Thank you so much for watching Civic Center TV. And now, back to the Splash Live. Welcome back to the Splash Live. Dave Scott here on Civic Center TV, joined now by the Executive Director of the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce, Suzanne Levine. Suzanne, good morning. Welcome to the Splash Live. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Well, it's good that you're here today. We have like we have so much going on. It's really it's really exciting. Let's start with the big ribbon cutting that is happening tomorrow at Orchard Mall. Tell us all about it. Yes, uh, speaking of making a great splash, Goldfish Swim is opening up their doors to the community and uh, the ribbon cuttings from 11 to 12 and we're so excited to be part of their introduction. Um, I think it's really important when uh, the chamber's involved in these ribbon cuttings because it's a way for the business to say, hello, here I am and we're open for business and it's really important that we support our local businesses because they are the backbone of our community. Well, no question about it, and, and chambers everywhere do these ribbon cuttings. They're great. Uh, companies like them, they always take a picture. It's a good way to say, hello, we're here. It's a good way for uh, the current businesses to meet new businesses so they can uh, get their support structure going between them and, and awful lot of fun. And in this case, it's really a remarkable business. We've got this Goldfish Swim, who is a regional and national operation, happens to be based right here in southeastern Michigan with many locations uh, not just here but all over and, and then they put this uh, amazing um, facility inside Orchard Mall they built had to build a swimming pool right in in Orchard Mall pretty amazing I, I can't wait to get to the ribbon cutting tomorrow and see it all absolutely and I always have the big scissors to make sure that we mark the moment um, yeah it is really amazing when you look at the space you go Wow, I never knew it was that large. And they're they're so nice over there. And I think one of the things that people seem to forget is that we have so many lakes here. Um, so water safety is huge, especially for children. So I think it's really important that everyone at least knows how to, you know, um, how to swim and how to, you know, what to do in case uh, there's an issue in the water. Couldn't be more important and uh, great during the winter time, even during the summertime, that parents can bring their young ones, make sure they, they do know how to swim and that they can get out and enjoy. Our, our lakes, not only here, but when they're, they're traveling north, they, um, people think 10,000 lakes in Minnesota. Well, we have a lot of lakes here in Michigan as well. And as you mentioned, a lot right here in our own backyard. Uh, so that's huge news. Having that happen in the mall adds a lot of buzz and a lot of activity. And, and I know one of the other most anticipated business openings in an awful long time is coming up here in West Bloomfield. And that is the uh, soon to happen opening of Schuler Books. Tell us all about that one. We're so excited to welcome back a bookstore and the buzz is amazing. I've been speaking to a lot of people. I know there was a trend and there still is kind of a trend, you know, to order them online, but everyone I've spoken to in this community can hardly wait to get back to really, you know, touch and feel and, and, and read a book. And they're gonna have all kinds of exciting events from maybe Harry Potter events to poetry readings. Um, I can hardly wait. And uh, I'm sure, you know, a lot of people um, like me are really excited about having this fabulous new bookstore in our community. Well, you know, the bookstores, and, and especially in the last decade, were much more than just a place to go pick up a book. It was the kind of place that you could just go hang out. It, it was like Starbucks. Um, it was like the library. And, and you take all that and combine it up. And those are the kind of bookstores, these celebrated big bookstores with amazing collections and great spaces where people could sit and food and, and just encouraging people to come into the store and not necessarily buy something every day, but just just to hang out. And a lot of retail models 
models don't really have that. And, mm -hmm. and that retail model for selling books has really been under a lot of pressure in the last couple of years with more people going to online. So having Schuler's come here, a Grand Rapids-based Michigan operation that only has, what, three or four of these, Grand Rapids, Lansing, and, uh, and Ann Arbor, and now is coming here. I mean, this is huge. They picked us, right? You know, right. We, didn't, we didn't pick them. They picked us. And, <laughs> and, you know, kudos to them to be able to pull off this kind of retail establishment in this environment. And they're doing it in those yeah. other locations. And, and, and in those other locations, that store is an integral part of the fabric of the community and we're going to have that here absolutely it's a huge commitment on their part but i really know they're going to be successful because everyone i i talk to when they find out that they're opening uh, hopefully in april pretty soon and we'll be there of course with our big scissors and ribbon um is so excited so i know they'll be successful and they'll get the the complete support of our community because you know um, education and reading reading especially is the foundation of everything so what's what could be better than having a fabulous bookstore in our midst all right, all right. well tomorrow after we're done with the ribbon cutting i think i'm gonna sneak down orchard lake road and take my little dave scott mini cam and see if i could just maybe get a glimpse of how progress is going and of yeah. course we'll talk to the Schuler folks have been very great gracious and to talk to them soon about what's going on uh, a couple of other big announcements from you uh october 4th your leadership breakfast is coming back it's a big event with some big time speakers tell us about the 2023 edition um, we're so excited to have Casey Crane, president and uh, CEO of Crane Communications. He's going to be, you know, giving an update on the business community and what is going on. And our good friend Rup Raj will be the MC. Um, we're very excited that uh, Corwell Health and Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital, again, are big sponsors, but there's still more room for sponsors. Um, the tickets will go on sale very soon. It's at Wabi Country Club from 8.30 to about 10.30. Uh, we're hoping to see you there. Um, it's just a great, it's a great event to have, you know, the community come together to learn and network with people that they might not necessarily get to meet. Um, you know, some of the CEOs and presidents of large corporations. And of course, Casey is so gracious. And uh, my good friend, Rup Raj, who's getting up very early that morning because <laughs> he has a like, He's got to work sure. on the other side of the day. It is yeah, nice. I'm not sure what I did to bribe him to come. <laughs> no, you're right. And, and you know, from that event, uh, Casey's always very charitable with his time. And, you know, he is a big shot. Let's be honest. He's running a huge operation. And it's yeah, global. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and, and he's the kind of person that's interesting to talk to because, you know, in doing what he does, he's right in the center of so much interesting information. Hey, we got to run. Just one quick final note, uh, your health and wellness, I hope, event is coming up at West Bloomfield Township Ball. I don't have my notes in front of me. I hope I got that right. Uh, yeah. Just one. Up, can you give us, okay, can you give us a, an update on that? Yes, June 14th. We're really excited. It's open to the public free. Uh, it does cost for people to purchase a table. They can contact me at westbloomfieldchamber.com, uh, wbloomfieldchamber at gmail.com, um, you know, for more information. And it's really exciting. Last year we had, you know, several hundred people come through. I'm hoping for more. It's at the West Bloomfield Township offices. Thank you to Steve Kaplan and all the great people there. And of course, to uh, Civic Center TV that always does a great job of covering our events. And it's just a great way to learn more about different health and wellness um, businesses that are there to help hopefully sustain in the quality of your life. All right, Suzanne, got to take care of ourselves and uh, great mm -hmm. opportunity to remind everybody that's important and to get some more information. Suzanne Levine, Greater West Bloomfield Chamber, thank you for joining us. Have a great day. We'll see you again soon. And that's it for us on The Splash. Thank you very much for tuning in. Dave Scott saying so long. Tyler Keith will be around with the mega cast, and we'll be back here bright and early tomorrow morning right here on Civic Center TV. Have a great day.